Aluminium is the most abundant metal in the Earth's crust, but there's a treasure trove of others to be found in the Earth below our feet. Earlier in the program, Katrina explored our mining past, but mining for metals like zinc is very much part of our present and our future. It may surprise you to know, but per square kilometer, Ireland is one of the best places in the world for zinc deposits. And Tara Mines here in Navan is the biggest zinc mine in Europe. And we've been invited to check it out. Oh my God, this is such a weird feeling. About 80% of the world's zinc is mined underground. And we're heading down deep below the surface where a workforce of around 600 people navigate one-way systems through six meter high tunnels with names like Penny Lane and Wexford Road. I feel a bit apprehensive going down here, I have to be honest. Oh yeah? Yeah. Be okay. Be okay. Be all right. The idea of getting lost here is absolutely terrifying. The body of zinc ore lies between 50 and 900 meters below the surface where mining teams and automated machinery work around the clock. Owen, I have to say I'm blown away by the scale of this place. Can you tell us a little bit about the history of Tara Mines? Yeah. Back in the, the late 60s, early 70s, uh, there was an agricultural survey done of the area and it showed up some interesting trace elements uh, in the soil samples. As a result of that, a kind of an exploration company took out a couple of licenses for the area and they commenced drilling. And the first hole they drilled hit an intersection of 12 meters with a zinc grade of eight and a half percent. It was very impressive. It meant they had found a very large intersection of mineral, virtually in the first place they had started drilling. Over the course of the next two years, between then and 1972, they drilled another 355 holes and they established a resource of 69 million tons. So wow. that was a huge discovery. Tara Mine officially opened in 1977, and for the 2.6 million tonnes of ore they extract every year, they produce about 130 to 140,000 tonnes of pure zinc metal. When people think of mining, they probably think of age-old uh, machines hulking around these big yeah. caves, but actually there's quite a lot of technology. This is quite a modern caving operation. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, it's kind of as a result of necessity. Uh, the mine is getting deeper, it's getting further and further away, and it's getting harder to mine. So we have to keep up with the levels of production that we need. We need bigger equipment. We need to introduce new technology. We have an extensive Wi-Fi network down in the mine so that we can operate equipment during lunch breaks, during shift changes and things like that. We can actually operate them from surface. We also have a location device in our lamps now. So the location device in our lamps can establish where somebody is, a very good health and safety tool in the event of an emergency. So Owen, where are we? Okay, we're at a, a level called 875, which is about 700 meters below surface at this stage. Wow. So this is a production drill rig that's drilling the area getting it ready for the next stage, which will be loading it with explosives and blasting it. The drill is a, an electric hydraulic drill. It's basically drilling a 1.8 meter steel into the face, followed by another 1.8 meter, followed by another 1.8 meter, until it gets to the length that it wants to. So let me get this straight. The, the drill drills uh, a, a big, long tunnel through the rock. It's pulled out, explosives are put in, and, and, and that explosion will hopefully yield some sort of ore. Yeah. You certainly have the big machines. Yeah. Everything seems just enormous here, like super size. Yeah, well, we, we need it because we need to produce the volume. This machine, it's, it's quite sophisticated. It's, it's computer programmed, so it'll actually do a lot of the drilling itself once the, once the layout is programmed into it. At this depth, I have to confess to feeling very uncomfortable at the thought of 700 metres of rock above us. And health and safety is a key priority for both the workers and the surrounding area above. When we drill and blast the tunnel, we'll take the rock out, then we'll reinforce that with sprayed concrete, uh, and you can see it here. And oh, that's it, what it is? Yeah, so that's what that is. So we spray the whole area with that, and then in addition to that, we put in these bolts, and you can see them overhead, and those bolts are securing the tunnel. Right. We're a hard rock mine as well, so we don't have rock failures as such. It makes it harder to drill, but it's much it safer to drill when you do. It makes it harder to drill, but much safer. 
Once the holes have been drilled, explosives are loaded into the rock to blast it apart and allow the zinc ore to be extracted. The rocks are removed, crushed and placed on a conveyor belt that carries them back to be hoisted up to the surface where the rock is chemically filtered to extract the zinc for exportation. Right, it looks very cool. Yeah. What do you do when you run out of zinc? What happens to this huge facility? Well, we're, we're constantly backfilling as we go along. So part of the process is to extract, but part of the process is to fill up the voids that you've created while right. you're extracting. Only a small percentage of the rock is mineral. So the rest is a kind of byproduct. So what we do with that byproduct is we pump that back down underground, sometimes with a mixture of cement, and that stabilizes the other area, the areas of the mine that we've mined out. So it means we can mine new areas. And of course, there is the potential of finding a new gold mine, or in this case, a, a new zinc mine, a, new, a big zinc deposit somewhere. Yeah, we have established a potential uh, we're referring to as Tara Deep. The reason that is, is between 1,200 meters and 1,900 meters in depth, and it's about two kilometers from where we are now. We've drilled some holes from surface and they've established a resource of somewhere around 15 to 18 million tonnes. But we'd like to see is there more out there. Whether we like it or not, mining is essential to the modern world. In Ireland alone, it takes around 50 million tonnes of metals and minerals a year to sustain our way of life. However, developing a mine is an incredibly lengthy process, requiring billions in investment and with a success ratio from exploration to industrial extraction of only around 1 in 1,000. It's also an environmentally hot topic and any mining that takes place requires responsible management before, during and crucially after any extraction is carried out. Geologists like Siobhan Power provide information on understanding our natural resources and advice on how we might manage them in a more sustainable manner. What's your take as a geologist in terms of like how we should exploit our resources that we do have? Well, we, we need metals. Recycling is, is necessary, very, very good, has to be done. But as we move to greener energies, it, you're thinking about wind farms, offshore wind, all that requires metals. So I suppose the question for us as humanity is, do we take metals from places with very rigorous environmental, labour, health and safety laws, which would be Europe and, and also, Ireland, of yes. course, or do we continue to depend on places elsewhere? Uh, which mightn't be as rigorous. Yeah, because like cobalt is one of those examples where we rely on it coming from the Congo, which, or the DRC, which is a fairly unstable place. That is true. We need cobalt now for electric cars, for batteries. 60% of the cobalt comes from there. It mightn't be the best for regulations. So in terms of like recognising what our deposits are and then trying to balance things between progress, protecting the environment, you know, society, how, how do we find that balance? It's something that, as society, we need to very definitely talk about. We have metals in Ireland with, through our good science, through our data, through the various ways of collecting data and exploring in non-invasive ways. We know or we can find where our metals are. But then it is to uh, develop mines in a very uh, environmentally sustainable way. And also the end of life for mining is terribly important as well. And we don't have abandoned mines anymore. In a modern mine, you work through the deposit the best way possible, and then there's a plan for what happens at the end. So it's the way of taking this materials in a sustainable way for all of mankind. Yeah.